Each week, we take three questions from our subscribers and our fans. So we're going to see if we can get Dr. Food to answer some of these questions. What is delayed growth and how is it treated? A growth delay occurs when a child isn't growing at the normal rate for their age. The delay may be caused by an underlying health condition, such as growth hormone deficiency or hypothyroidism. In some cases, early treatment can help a child reach a normal or near normal height. If you suspect your child isn't growing at a normal rate, make an appointment with their doctor. It may be a sign of other health issues. What are the symptoms associated with delayed growth? If your child is smaller than other children their age, they may have a growth problem. It's typically considered a medical issue if they're smaller than 95% of the children their age, and their rate of growth is slow. A growth delay may also be diagnosed in a child whose height is in the normal range, but whose rate of growth has slowed. Depending on the underlying cause of their growth delay, they may have other symptoms. If they have certain forms of dwarfism, the size of their arms or legs may be out of normal proportion to their torso. If they have low levels of the hormone thyroxine, they may have a loss of energy, constipation, dry skin, dry hair, and trouble staying warm. If they have low levels of growth hormone, it can affect the growth of their face, causing them to look abnormally young. If their delayed growth is caused by stomach or bowel disease, they may have blood in their stool, diarrhea, constipation, vomiting, or nausea. What causes delayed growth? Delayed growth can have a wide variety of causes. The most common causes include a family history of short stature. If parents or other family members have short stature, it's common for a child to grow at a slower rate than their peers. Delayed growth due to family history isn't an indication of an underlying problem. The child may be shorter than average simply because of genetics. Constitutional growth delay. Children with this condition are shorter than average but grow at a normal rate. They usually have a delayed bone age, meaning their bones mature at a slower rate than their age. They also tend to reach puberty later than their peers. This leads to a below average height in early teenage years, but they tend to catch up with their peers in adulthood. Growth Hormone Deficiency Under normal circumstances, GH promotes the growth of body tissues. Children with a partial or complete GH deficiency won't be able to sustain a healthy rate of growth. Hypothyroidism Babies or children with hypothyroidism have an underactive thyroid gland. The thyroid is responsible for releasing hormones that promote normal growth. So delayed growth is a possible sign of an underactive thyroid. Turner syndrome is a genetic condition that affects females who are missing part or all of one X chromosome. TS affects approximately one in 2,500 females. While children with TS produce normal amounts of GH, their bodies don't use it effectively. How is delayed growth treated? Your child's treatment plan will depend on the cause of their delayed growth. For delayed growth associated with a family history or constitutional delay, doctors don't usually recommend any treatments or interventions. For other underlying causes, the following treatments or interventions may help them start growing normally. If your child is diagnosed with a GH deficiency, their doctor may recommend giving them GH injections. The injections can usually be done at home by a parent, typically once a day. This treatment will likely continue for several years as your child continues to grow. Your child's doctor will monitor the effectiveness of the GH treatment and adjust the dosage accordingly. Hypothyroidism. Your child's doctor may prescribe thyroid hormone replacement drugs to compensate for your child's underactive thyroid gland. During treatment, the doctor will watch your child's thyroid hormone levels regularly. Some children naturally outgrow the disorder within a few years, but others may need to continue treatment for the rest of their lives. Turner Syndrome Even though children with TS produce GH naturally, their bodies can use it more effectively when it's administered through injections. 
Around age four to six, your child's doctor may recommend starting daily GH injections to increase their likelihood of reaching normal adult height. Similar to the treatment for GH deficiency, you can usually give the injections to your child at home. If the injections aren't managing your child's symptoms, the doctor can adjust the dosage. There are more possible underlying causes than the ones listed above. Depending on the cause, there may be other available treatments for your child's delayed growth. For more information, talk to their doctor about how you can help your child reach a normal adult height.